All right, I wanted to make a quick video. I wanted to make a quick video on this uh, uh, blower motor switch. This is for the blower motor, for the single. Back up a bit. This is for the single. Now, if you had a double, you'd know you'd have the rear vent switch right here, or some people have the rear vent switch up on the headliner in the rear. But for the front blower motor switch, here's a here's a common list of problems that go back go wrong. We replaced this switch just now with a junkyard used switch. Just now. And we didn't film the replacement, but I'll tell you how to do it real fast. Okay. Headlight switch over here for the pull knob style. Right behind it, there's a relief. Take a flathead screwdriver, stick it in the relief, and you bend the tab back. It's spring loaded, and then you can pull you can pull the headlight off. Then this bezel mount unscrews on the earlier years. I mean, like this is a 99. So this unscrews and there's no backer nut. Some switches have a backer nut behind this. But nevertheless, no, no problem. You just need to unscrew this bezel and then pull it off the stem. Then this piece right here, including this piece right here attached, all of this comes off at one time. But you have two seven millimeters right here one two machine screws or I'm sorry not machine screws uh, like a sheet metal screw so you have two of them there that's seven mil okay so flathead to pry this off lightly and then it pries off from right here and then this bezel comes off some people in the later years like I have an 07 it has the one piece bezel that thing is very very flimsy so be careful when you're taking that apart. But for the two-piece bezel, it's pretty sturdy. Usually the clips just stay intact. So you pull this piece off and you put it in drive all the way down to one to get your, get your gear selector out of the way. Then this piece comes off and then behind it here is your next piece. There are no screws holding this front bezel on, nothing. Literally, prize out. Right, prize out from all sides. Try to get it started from this side though, so you don't damage this in here. Take this off and pull it out, and then you got everything exposed. Then you have three screws that hold this piece on right here. This AC control by, uh, panel. You got one up here. That's a seven mil, and you got two seven mils right here and here, hidden by this black piece. When this is off, the radio will come out with the plastic piece. Alright, so you have those two seven mils and then a seven mil up top. So three screws for this and a nut driver works the best on this. Um, then right here, once this piece comes off, your wires are exposed and everything, you got one screw that holds the switch in. which On the uh, back side. Right, which is on the back side. And this switch goes like that. Your one screw is right here and that's a quarter inch standard for some reason or five sixteenths quarter inch I'm sorry not five sixteenths quarter inch and once you take that off you basically look, turn it and this unlocks itself and then it pulls out and then you got one plug you unplug it now you can see the heat marks on this plug this is the second switch we have replaced okay the second one and this is aftermarket O'Reilly's garbage AutoZone can't even find this switch. Um, you know, in two years, this is the second switch that burned up on me. So I thought maybe it was a wiring harness, so I crimped them tighter for the second switch. It didn't work. Over time, high went out. So here's an indicator that the switch is bad and not the uh, blower motor relay, they call it. Is it, is it, it's called a relay, right? They have a blower motor relay. It's a blower motor relay control switch. The resistor, you mean? Blower motor resistor. Sorry. That's it, the resistor, the one under the okay. battery. It's, under, it's, it's behind the battery and underneath the blower motor. It's a thing with a bunch of coils on it, okay? That that can go bad, too. That, that controls your speed, low, medium, uh, high, or, or ultra-low you know low high and high uh, medium and then high but anyway however you want to judge that so basically we got it going on high now here's a way that we can tell that it wasn't going on high we had no difference between here and here here and here yeah, there is a difference now there's a difference 
We only had medium. That's it. It wouldn't go any higher. Okay. And then when you go low or second notch before low, it's it's operating. You can hear it. And then you have a low. Okay. So I'm here to tell you the only switch that will work in here for a long period of time is your factory forge switch replacement. Took one out of a junkyard and it works way better. Yeah, the one out of the junkyard, it's made by Motocraft, is, is actually the switch. But here's a part number on there for the aftermarket piece of junk if you have no choice. Plus, here's another gig, another thing. Your knob, your knob itself, see that switch is not getting hot, that piece of metal, the tit. It used to get hot for the aftermarket. The aftermarket would get hot, and the second aftermarket in a row made by two different companies. I think O'Reilly's had a recall on the first set. Here's the second set that are probably made in Chinese land, and here's the second one that went bad. And so here we're on our fourth switch. First one from factory went bad, finally, and then we had this one, and then the next one. Uh, now we have this new jump joint switch. And it all works great now. Okay, and it's not getting hot, so that's an indicator that everything's okay under the blower motor side. Now. If you were to take it from high and go to medium and you got nothing, you got low, you got nothing, or medium low and you got low, you got nothing, but all you have is on high or any one of these other switches have nothing on them, it's a very good indicator that is the that it's the blower motor resistor that's underneath the blower motor, which is about 15 bucks. The aftermarket one of those is, is okay to use. I haven't had any problems with that yet. I've yeah, replaced that. Replaced. I've replaced that in a blower motor about three times because I got a lot of, you know a lot of run time on this vehicle uh, for usage, but uh, especially idle time. So, and the air condition is always on or vent in some way. So that's what I wanted to point out. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't actually film taking this apart, but I wanted to explain that there are only really three simple things that can go wrong with this blower motor portion. And that is electrically, that is the switch, the resistor, or the actual blower motor itself. That's the only three things that you can have wrong. Um, of course, your first option, if nothing works, is to check your fuse. Uh, but there's something that will cause your fuse to blow. Uh, so you wanna do that and then find out what made your fuse blow. So. Here's a review on aftermarket O'Reilly's, whoever makes this brand switch, I don't know if it's their... their I, mean, I don't know if it's Mastercraft. I don't know if it's their Mastercraft or their, whatchamacallit? Borg Warner Distribution, BWD maybe? I don't know who makes it, but it's it ain't worth a shit, and I wouldn't recommend it to anybody unless you had to use it to get by. Don't expect it to last for more than a year, if it works right the first time. Um, and remember, your knob is not going to fit on there properly because this is not mil-spec machined. It's a little smaller than factory knob. So your knob will be loose and you might even have trouble clicking it all the way to high. Might strip it out too. Uh, not really, but uh, I haven't had that problem yet. But this knob fits nice and tight on the factory. Awesome. So we are good with that. So I just wanted to let you know what to look for. and. I guess that completes this video on the Econoline uh, fourth generation. Fourth gen, yes. From 92 to, to now, actually. So. Yeah, I mean, the dashboard and the 92s are different. They may use the same switching mechanism. I know that all the way up to the modern years, till they quit making the Econoline van itself, they still use them in the cutaway. This, No, they have a totally different dashboard system. This wide span of years here, from at least uh, 97 or 98. To about 07, pretty much. To about 07 or 08. Or maybe higher. No, 07, because our 07 has the same dash with the extra switch. Yeah, but our 07 has the one piece bezel. Right, okay. The, the bezel that's a pile of shit. In fact, I'm thinking about going out and getting, I see no reason why an earlier year bezel won't fit. Because, Looks are in the same place. Yeah, all the clips, markings and stuff are in the same spot. So an 07, I mean a, a 99 or 01 or a 98 bezel may be better. A two-piece bezel with a split in the middle. Because the other bezel, 
I mean, the clips break right off the bezel in, in a heartbeat. I mean, it's paper thin. This is thick plastic. Uh, big difference, big difference. I just want to let everybody know that, and uh, that's that. So.